What you are about to see is one of the projects done by one of the groups in the Spring 2010 Capstone Project course at Chattanooga State Community College. In this course, students are required to identify a project, collect resources, construct a plan of action, develop and demonstrate the project. This particular group wanted to build a solar tracker for a photovoltaic cell. I thought the project was a bit too ambitious, but I succumbed to their enthusiasm and they more than proved themselves. They found a 170 watt photovoltaic cell that measured about 4 feet wide and about 3 feet tall. They found a scorebot robot that had been retired, disassembled it, and reused the rotary base in the upper arm. They found a linear actuator to adjust the tilt, put it all together, and started programming. About the only thing I did was design the H bridge controller to drive the motors, take a few videos and a few pictures. The rest was all them. This is their story, and as you will see, they did an outstanding job. It's recording. Walk around it itself so you get the opposite going. Yeah. Yeah, but we have to do is just take those wires and take those. Just make sure we got this right. Yeah. And what I did was I took all the returns. They all fit this up. Pin 12 and 7. That's our channel A low. So, yeah, pin looks like pin 7. seven. Okay, that's 7? Mm -hmm. Okay, what's going on? So, channel A is going to be, let's call that 4. That's all right. Okay, so this is for the naysayers. Here's for the naysayers. Here's the naysayers. Here we go. We got the solar paneling going into scan mode, looking for the brightest spot in the sky. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the sky just a little bit. Sun is over in this direction. <laughs> Probably could have figured that out by the shadow, but it's setting itself up. Now it's taking readings. He wants fast motion of the video. <laughs> yeah, it's not very fast, you just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> no. Should be turned to around that area. Yeah. I'll turn there Stay there, so that's pretty much adjusted. Mm -hmm. I picked a good height for the penalty. Yeah, that's perfect. Takes what, six readings? Yeah. Yep. Should be coming up on number six right here. So it should go back to the brightest spot. Probably be about three spaces that's going on. Woo! <laughs> 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 
Alright, so now we're back on key and it's going to go into auto scan. Figure out exactly where to be the best position, which is probably it right there. Yeah, I believe so. It's right at the sun. Shadow's directly behind it. Make sure you look at the shadow. Getting the shadow in here. There's a shadow. And the sun is up there. I don't want to ruin the camera. <laughs> Perfect. That's all right. Okay, so this is for the naysayers. What we have here is the Capstone Project Solar Panel Sun Tracker. Uh, what it's doing right now is setting into automatic scan mode where it would take a number of six readings throughout the whole sky and return to the brightest spot. As you notice, it's getting set in position to start this process. The sensors on top will take a number of readings and then judge for the brightest spot in the sky and then return to that position. This is the third reading. The pause in between is the chip registering the readings and recording them to the array. We looked at it another time. Now this is the brightest spot, so it should return to this position once it's through scanning. And that was the last reading, so now it should set itself up to continue the scan mode and start the process of tracking the sun. And there it is aligned with the sun. If you notice the shadow behind the box. And it's set to continue this process throughout the day. And that's the solar tracker, AKA Skywatch 5.